Hello guys, this is YZ and this is a review on the premium Bandai HUC 144 scale E3. This is a mass production version. And yeah, uh, unfortunately it looks like Bandai decided to uh, release one E3 as a retail kit and everything else, all the variants as premium Bandai kits. Which is extremely unfortunate for uh, North American fans of the E3. This is actually a very nicely designed uh, mobile suit. Uh, We'll just have to pay, you know, an arm and a leg for it. So, 40 US dollars, uh, you can, well, uh, I don't think you can get this kit uh, anytime soon because uh, it's a little bit hard to come by. I uh, actually got lucky uh, to get this kit because someone actually canceled the reservation on this kit at my uh, my preferred gunpla shop at www.hatsuhabi.com. So, I was able to get this kit. And I feel very fortunate. So I have actually built almost every single E3. I think the only one I'm missing is the E3 Knocked. And uh, that one I actually still have in my possession. I'm just holding it on to it for a friend who looks like it's kind of not interested in the kit anymore. So I'm just probably going to unbox it and build it. But anyway, I think I did an unboxing on that the kit too. So I'm just holding on to it. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. I think, uh, okay, so we got a little blurb right here, if you want to read more about it. Apparently, this guy's from the same game as the uh, uh, Gundam Pixie. So, it's from the Gundam, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, or Kido Senshi Gundam, Cross Dimension game. And, yeah, uh, supposedly it's part of a 14 episode kind of thing. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I you you almost you never see the E3 in the actual anime. It's more like an MSV side story kind of thing, and retail price in Japan is two thousand yen. So uh, a lot of people hated Premium Bandai. Originally, I I really dislike stuff that's Premium Bandai. But just keep in mind, you know, if you're living in Japan or parts of Asia, you're actually just paying retail price for these kits. Uh, they're just web exclusive, which you have to order online. And then they send it to you, and the price you pay is the same price you pay for any other Gunpla kit. Uh, just because uh, you know we live in North America, uh, these kits are a little bit more difficult to come by. Basically, you have to find someone who's willing to buy the kit from the premium bundle web shop in Japan or Asia, then send it to you. That's why you know we have to pay more for it. Uh, this is not something that Bandai release. Uh, uh, retail to uh, you know uh, retail distributors so that's why it's a little bit more difficult to come by and uh, that's why a lot of people are not happy about stuff that are premium Bandai but it is what it is so you know you can be upset about it or you know you can understand <laughs> the situation but anyway premium Bandai doesn't mean anything it's not that it's actually better then a regular HUC kit or any retail release is Premium Bandai because it's on only available through the Premium Bandai web shop. And they want to name their uh, web shop Premium Bandai. I don't know why. It should just be, you know, Bandai web shop exclusive or something. But they call it Premium Bandai or whatever it is. Now there are actually some kits that are maybe Premium because uh, they, they're only available through the internet exclusive, the web shop exclusive. So, you know, one, one can argue either way. So anyway, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, leftover parts. So yeah, we got the, all these uh, leftover parts. These are just like, uh, not very useful parts from the uh, E3 Custom or the E3 Schneid. So these are just parts that you're never gonna use. We got this, some of these are very small thruster parts. Maybe you can reuse them for something else. Also got the uh, E3 Shinai Commander antenna, which it's uh, not very useful. And obviously we've got this uh, terrible foil, sheet st foil sticker. Uh, this one is probably one of the worst offenders. Yeah, as far as E3 kids go, this is, uh, this is probably one of the worst in terms of foil stickers. And this is absolute garbage. So, yeah, garbage get tossed in a garbage can. And we have uh, these thruster uh, missile pots from the uh, leftover from the E3 Custom. We don't have the back plate, so you're just going to end up with a kind of funky looking uh, thing. It looks good from the front. If you paint it uh, without the back plate, it just looks kind of unfinished. So I don't know if anybody will be able to reuse this. 
Maybe for like uh, custom build if you plot play the back part or something like that. Uh, uh, well, I'll see if I can find some good use for it. And then we also got these forearm parts from the E3 Custom. Uh, we don't have the missiles that goes inside. So, again, uh, probably good for some kind of kit bashing. Maybe if you want to create like effect parts of the missile firing, that would actually work very nicely. But other than that, you know, it's missing a few parts to complete. Now, we do have a feat right here. This is actually complete. You just need to paint in this whole section and uh, you have uh, one feet uh, of course you need to source a polycap from you know one of your leftover parts catalog, uh, parts box but uh, yeah you have a feet a whole feet how cool is that and then I will have another feet however it's missing this piece right here so yeah I wish we have gotten this another, another part of this one another runner then you can have two feet and then you can swap it out for somewhat of a semi-custom look now uh, what's very interesting for the e3 is that they actually uh, redesigned the feet right here you can see uh, this piece now is a separate part and then this piece is one solid part compared to this it's kind of like a reverse so that's actually very interesting i don't know why they did that but it works it it's it works better than you know usual i'd rather have something like this than a black foil sticker that wraps around uh that section right there that would just be terrible absolutely terrible but anyway that's the leftover parts nothing to write home about obviously we got the uh, usual premium bandai uh, the usual premium bandai uh instruction manual the booklet assembly Booklet all monochrome, no color whatsoever. Shows you uh, where you can attach the camphor shotgun. This is actually uh, the same shotgun for the camphor. Like they did not make an effort of uh, remaking a new mode for this thing. So, but it was a very good shotgun to begin with. So no complaints there. And then we also have the weapons. It's uh, very sparse when it comes to accessories, but it's good. It's a mass production type, so it's uh, it's which. We should be happy with what we get. So obviously we get two uh, heat saber effect parts. Uh, we got the uh, clear orange part and then we got the deactivated version. So I have the deactivated saber attached to the connector point right here on the side skirt. So I've got a connector on the back where you can attach a shotgun. And the shotgun does come with stock, so if you want to have a full stock version, you can swap it out. I didn't panel line the shotgun because I'm going to paint it using a tester gunmetal lacquer. So that's what I do now with all my gunpla weapons. We do have a very nice trigger finger right here. And uh, it's an angle trigger finger, so yeah, that works very well with the shotgun right there. This is a very nice shotgun. It's uh, two parts snapped together with the one part going to the front and then one part going here. Yeah. And I did not build this incorrectly. This part is actually on the bottom. It looks like this may be the front side, but this is not. The front side is actually right here. You can see from the box right there. I did not build this incorrectly. That's how it looks like. <laughs> so there we go. And then uh, obviously we got two multi purpose gripping hands right here. One's holding on to the heat saver now, and then we have one open hand right here. Now, uh, we do have these uh, plates right here for the hand, so you might want to swap them out if you, if you, uh, you know, if that's your kind of thing, or you can keep it this color. I don't actually think they're uh, interchangeable because this one's kind of a little bit bigger, so just be aware of that. So, I don't think uh, the blue part can go on this, so just. That's a little bit of a disappointment there. And I did manage to find a Xeon water slide decal right here. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, there we go. Now it's got a Xeon logo right there. Uh, that's my very, very last one. I'm going to have to uh, pick up some more once I, uh, next time I go to my preferred gun blush shop at www.tazohobby.com. Not sponsored, not affiliated, uh, just my favorite shop. Uh, if you guys like to pick up Gunplug kits, make special reservation on premium Bandai kits, check out www.tatsuhobby.com. Now, okay, so anyway, we'll talk about the terrible foil sticker that go on this kit. I'm going to get rid of all the crappy stuff. So, obviously, we got this crap right here that's attached to uh, the lower fee. Garbage. 
and we also got this uh, fossicker that wraps around the lower leg garbage absolutely garbage so got this garbage that uh, wraps around this uh, this whole front uh, section right here the crotch piece is super sticker heavy this is a sticker the inner part here the brown part, uh, the, the gray part is a sticker, this orange part is a sticker, this black part is a sticker, this light blue part is a sticker. It's it's nightmare, man. I did my best to make it look as presentable as I can. I think it turned out looking okay. Right here though, it does look like it's still missing some color. Uh, it's not properly colored, but you know, what, 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 whatever, man. It's it's full of stickers. It's it's crap. And uh, yeah, more full sticker that goes in the vents. Full sticker for the eye. That's an actually not bad. This is probably the only one that's decent. I did paint it the head Vulcans, if you can see it, with gunmetal uh, lacquer right there. So they look a little bit different than just you know, the plain old black. And uh, I'm actually very glad that these parts are part separation on the shoulder. If I have to uh, wrap around a white color uh, full sticker around the shoulders, I'm just going to go bunkers. And these are also part separation, which is nice. I, I do not like uh, uh, doing foil stickers for these spike parts. So at least they give us that. Also these parts, so I give them credit for that. But everything else in terms of foil sticker, it's bad. And also another full sticker that goes around this vent right here, which is terrible. I think what they could have done is do what they do with the chest piece. Like this orange part, this is actually a separate piece. So I don't know why they couldn't uh, just develop one, two, three, four, five, six, and put it all on the same runner when they already developed these vents. So yeah, I mean that would have, you know, make it less, uh, less of a problem. Putting on this full sticker, uh, to wrap around all the edges, it's an absolute nightmare. It's freaking terrible. Like, I, I want to cuss, but uh, this is a children-friendly channel, I guess. So, I'm not going to use a harsh language. Anyway, uh, the articulation is pretty much the same as any other uh, gun plug kit. Well, not allowed. Uh, any other A3, so I'm just going to go over it real quick. Uh, obviously, we've got a hinge right here for the feet. That's a ball joint there for the uh, feet itself. The hinge right there in the lower section. Double joint the knee, which is very nice. We got the thigh cut right there. Uh, we got a little pivot here for the uh, hip section. We've also got a uh, uh, connection point for the action base. I split the front skirts. The side skirt can be articulated. However, it's kind of hindered by the power cables. That's a little bit unfortunate. I wish the power cable would have been attached to the upper torso, but it is what it is. And uh, we do have a bit of a waist rotation. However, once again, it's hindered by the power cable. Now we do have an app crunch right there. That's okay. Yeah, that's just okay. It's not great. But uh, what's really nice about this kit is the uh, what they call the uh, advanced or Gunpla Evolution, where now we have this function right here where you can pull out the whole shoulder section, which is uh, very nice. And we've also got this hinge function right here for the arm, so the arm can go up some more like that, which is very nice. And uh, yeah, these are not polycaps, these are like hard plastic parts. So. Uh, I guess you will, you will eventually run into parts tolerance problem if you uh, you know play around some too much. But uh, anyway, we got the ball joint that goes into that socket. We got a hinge right here. Got another hinge here for the shoulder armor, and then we got the uh, bicep swivel right there. Double joint the elbows. This is also a very nice design. But however, it's just slightly, uh, slightly, slightly over 90 degrees. It's not perfect but it's good and the hand is uh, connect via this uh, joint section this is not polycap so this is ball joint that goes into the socket hard plastic socket and it's held in place by this collar right here so that holds the whole thing in place and obviously we got a hinge for the head the head can move like that the mono eye can be adjusted you just have to uh, I guess yeah you can either remove this whole top section or you can stick a toothpick in there or use the heat saver to move the mono eye and uh, this one's actually not loose 
uh, my Ifuri Shinai, this thing was super loose and I would just like be moving <laughs> in there left and right without you doing anything. But yeah, I think I'm glad they actually fixed it. And yeah, the shoulder armor is actually very nice. I, I like the shoulder armor better than the one from the Ifuri Custom. I, I like the part separation. This is actually very nicely done. So, uh, it's kind of like a mixed bag. The full stickers are freaking terrible. Absolute garbage. But the kit itself is nice. And uh, if you are actually looking forward to painting this kit, then I would have to say you're probably going to have a very, very uh, nice looking kit. Yeah, I'm probably going to just rip off all the full stickers and just redo this kit. Uh, do it some justice for, for the glory of Xeon. Okay, so uh, I think I cover everything on this kit. I'll probably be uh, building the E3. I'm, I'm probably going to email my friend about you know his uh, E3 uh, E3 knocked or not. And uh, if I don't hear anything, I'll probably be building that kit. So I will have another premium bundle E3 to review for you guys. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.